All right, YouTube. So I know it's been a long time coming, man, but we finally have the voiceover, you know what I'm saying? Mini vlog, you know what I'm saying? Recap of my first day, as you can see, with the Miami Dolphins, man. Now, this is us after we parked our cars, you know what I'm saying? We had to park somewhere close up. We don't have a parking pass, and this is us pulling up to the stadium. Um, right now, what you're looking at is us getting off the bus, man. You know what I'm saying? It was such a breathtaking experience, bro. Like, I have not been to a Miami Dolphins game ever besides one time, and it was so ironic. Um, I'll get to that story later, but as you can see right now, I had this wonderful lady, you know what I'm saying, who I literally met the same day, escorted me through the back uh, undergrounds of the stadium, and that was me waiting right there to receive my instructions on where I was going to go. But now you guys see me finally at my post, but I took a quick bathroom break. I had to pee real bad, and as you can see, man, literally the entire stadium is decked out with high-tech stuff, new modern stuff dolphins gear all type of new you would see this in like a bro like you would literally see this probably in like i don't even know probably like a steven spielberg action movie or something this is that type of or like an airport type of you know what i'm saying like a high-tech fancy airport it was so nice it smells so good in there bro i'm telling y'all i don't know if i could go out there and record you know what i'm saying because they were telling me that i'm not able to walk outside and have my phone out in the post that i was at um, they had me posted up as you can see right here. I was able to sneak a little bit of footage um, And then when I got over to where my I was posted at I was posted in the corner as you can see right now We're in the middle of the stadium. I snuck this footage while nobody was there. I know I know I know I literally could get in trouble for that, but I had to do it for y'all, man. I literally had to do it for y'all. What an amazing view for your first day on the job, bro I couldn't even be happier. You know what I'm saying? Um, this right there is where the Dolphins would have came out in the next two hours. I was we had to um, show up there. I want to say probably like three or four hours before the game even started. I was there from like eight in the morning or seven in the morning. The game started at one o'clock. So as you can see, what we, later on in the footage you'll see like photos of Tua. You know what I'm saying? Video of Tua warming up hours before the game. You gotta respect him for that, bro. Tyreek taking laps around the field. And this is me just soaking it all in, bro. Like I was saying, it's so crazy because my first game ever uh, was at my first and only NFL game that I've ever attended before this game was at a Dolphins game back in, I want to say like 2007 or 2006. It was such an early year. Um, and I was in the Boy Scouts. Yes, your boy was in the Boy Scouts. And it was ironically against the Cleveland Browns, the Miami Dolphins and Cleveland Browns. And it was so crazy when I thought about it, how literally history repeats itself, bro. It's such a great moment to be in this situation. Just a kid from Miami living his dream, bro, literally. Um, the stadium was so beautiful. As you guys can see, it's so much bigger in person pause. Obviously, as you guys probably know, I couldn't believe my eyes. Literally had to go back to my post. You know what I'm saying? And right there, as you can see, that's Tua. He's over there warming up the left-handed throws, man. It was so crazy to see all of that. And then to know that my post is in, if you don't know, the Miami Dolphins Stadium is literally called uh, Club Live. They have like a skybox stadium. <laughs> where it's like a suite and it's filled with like a DJ booth. You'll see that later on in the video. I was posted up in that entire section for my first day on the job. I couldn't ask for a better first day. You know what I'm saying? This was my post pretty much. I was up against the wall. You know what I'm saying? We had a couple celebrities pull up to the um the same venue. You know what I'm saying? And this right here around this time is when the game started. So we have fans coming in. You know what I'm saying? And you had to pay a pretty penny to get up in there, bro. You had to pay at least like a couple thousand just to even get into the venue. You know what I'm saying? I had to sneak a little bit of footage of the game. You know what I'm saying? Just to get it on the on the vlog for you guys, man. We had some cool fans, you know what I'm saying? As your, boy, your boy's a, a Saints fan, but you know what I'm saying? The Dolphins community is so like, chill and laid back, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I, I literally had to sweet talk them people to allow me to film this footage. I had to sneak my phone when my manager walked off from my post to, you know what I'm saying, sneak and record some of this footage, man. I had a couple cool fans come up to me and interact, man. And it was just an overall great experience. As you can see, the same colors I'm wearing, you see those dudes down on the field wearing the orange. I could be out there on any, any given day.
Yeah, man, right there, as you can see, such a cool fan, you know what I'm saying? It was a great experience, bro. Those dudes on the orange that I was showing you guys earlier, that's that's what I was saying. I could be out there on the field at any given moment. I could be where I'm at. Luckily, I got put where I'm at. I could be by the gates, by the locker room, you know what I'm saying? Anywhere in the stadium, just providing post-up security, you know what I'm saying? So, um, snuck a little bit more footage of the game. Everybody was getting a little bit, you know what I'm saying, happy around this point. This is when the Dolphins finally started to break away from the, the Browns, man. They were beating the brakes off of those dudes. And guess who showed up right in front of my damn section, bro? Flo Rida. Yes, bro. I know, I know, I know. Flo Rida. Hey, I heard you all want him, bro. Can you blow my whistle, baby? And then his... His homeboy was recording the uh, the surroundings, bro. And then if you look real close, if you got to slow the video down, do whatever you got to do, you will catch me in the background right there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Literally, it's you could. You, that's the first celebrity I've ever met in my life. Imagine this being your view for your first day on the freaking job bro it was so fun it was such a great experience and then this was around the time you know what i'm saying after the win was over you know what i'm saying the dolphins fans come up to club live they pay their couple thousand they got money like that they come up here they party like i said it's a club man they got a bar they got a food section they got all of that man they got open up windows where you can see outside the stadium the view that i was showing you guys you know what i'm saying and they they so happened to position your boy at the dj booth you know what i'm saying they was playing a little bit of music I wish I could let it play, you know what I'm saying? Let y'all feel the atmosphere, but obviously I would get copyrighted. I hope that this video don't get copyrighted as is, you know what I'm saying? Because the NFL is so bougie, bro. But this is the footage of me walking away, man, leaving the uh, game. As you can see, I got my other securities around me, bro. It was such a crazy day. I left there with a big ass headache. Bro, it was so crazy. I can't, I had to show y'all all of this footage. I was not even supposed to be recording in these areas of the stadium. You know what I'm saying? But I had to do it for you guys, bro. And then I met so many cool people that day, bro. Everyone was so chill. Everyone was so cool. You know what I'm saying? And I was so surprised. They I don't want to I don't want to snitch on them, but bro, they they made us take off our damn uniform, bro. They they took our shirt from us and told us that we are not allowed to take the security shirts home. Obviously, for probably security reasons, you try to show up on the day that you're not scheduled and get a free game or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or you don't even work with the company no more. So this is me leaving, man. I had such a great day. You know what I'm saying? I was so excited to get back home, get this video put together for you guys. Look at the beautiful Hard Rock Stadium, bro. It's so beautiful. So much history put there. That was my little friend that I made today, that day. You know what I'm saying? She was with me the whole day, posted up on my spot. Spot, you know what I'm saying? She was such a cool person. And shout out to all my Sagittarius's out there. She was a Sagittarius. But as you can see, your boy got a pudge. You know what I'm saying? I, I was skeptical to put this clip in the video, but I was so mesmerized by the experience, bro. It was so fun. I had so much fun. My my team was so supportive of knowing that I do YouTube, knowing I need these clips. They were so cool about everything. And now, as you can see, your boy is on his way home. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, man. It wasn't a lot of clips. I told you guys it was a mini vlog, but I did what I could. You know what I'm saying? I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And thank you guys for joining me on the ride, man.